What is going on guys, Nifty Bacon here with another GTA 5 video. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe for my GTA 5 videos, Moto Vlogs, and upcoming Chana Series videos. These are the top 5 tips and tricks for import-export. Tip and trick number 1 is every car almost is top range as you can see there. So uh, you're going to have to make sure you know which cars are top range. If you don't, then you can definitely click on them, and check, and make sure that it is a top range car so you can make the most money. And this one basically is. You have 200000 for the commission, so we'll go ahead and sell this one. And you don't have to be super fancy about what you put on the car or anything like that. You can just slap a bunch of stuff on it. Just make sure you change a few things in each category as I'm doing here real quick and that's all you need to do just to get it ready to sell so let's go ahead and sell it all right and tip number two basically is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a cargo bob to sell this because if you sell a vehicle as a single player or if you sell a vehicle solo you'll basically have these uh, guys coming after you trying to destroy or damage the car a bunch and it'll end up making you uh, damage the car about two thousand dollars and you don't want that so what you need to do is get the cargo bob and uh, the most you'll lose that I've lost out of selling with the cargo bob is about two hundred and fifty dollars off the commission so you make as much as you possibly can, or you can get zero damage, and you'll get the whole 200000 commission. And even though you have to spend $200 to get the Cargo Bob, you're still saving money because you're only going to spend about 200 to 400 uh, just to deliver the vehicle, so you'll get more back. Because if you try to drive it, the uh, guys in the cars are going to come after... You shoot the car up, it's going to give you like two, three thousand dollars worth of damage loss on your commission. So, Cargo Bob is the way to go. Cargo Bob, the cheapest one, is one million seven hundred fifty thousand. So, that'll set you back, but it's a great investment because you will be able to deliver vehicles faster, you can use them to pick up uh, vehicles and everything like that. So, it's a great way to do that. So if you can, if you have the money to get a cargo bob, definitely do that. Especially now, so you can make as much money as you possibly can. Um, and an uh, extra tip is don't get a cargo bob first and land it by your vehicle cargo warehouse. Because when you go in to go sell a vehicle, it'll actually destroy it. And so your personal vehicle will be destroyed. So you'll, so you'll waste $200 there. So what you need to do is you need to go into your vehicle warehouse, sell the vehicle like I just did, as you saw, and then go pick up the cargo bob as you just saw me do. And then you can go just pick up the car because you got 14 minutes to uh, deliver it. So it's plenty of time. As you can see, I still got 12 minutes left and just fly it right over and try to avoid the roads as much as possible because the uh, guys in those cars shooting you up are going to be, uh, you know, trying to hit you. And they will hit the car from the road, even though you think you're far enough away. I've been hit a couple of times with some bullets, and it will take the commission off. So, right here, we're doing really well. Not getting any damage whatsoever, so we did really good here. So, we're going to go ahead and drop it off. Just got to be careful the car doesn't swing around a bunch and hit the cargo bomb because that will take off some damage as well from the commission. And we got it delivered. No damage at all. Full 200000 commission. We spent $40,000 to upgrade the car so you make 160000 on the highest top range car. So that's the cars you want to sell. It's the top range cars. Don't even bother with the mid range or any of that because it's just a waste of time and another tip is to just a little side tip basically is you want to make sure 
that you are only selling top range and picking up and sourcing top range vehicles. So what you need to do is you need to fill up the warehouse of standard and mid range, don't sell those. And then when you get a top range, sell it and just keep filling it up. And then once the standard and mid range are full, then it'll just give you the top range cars as you're going to see me here. So now that see my warehouse is pretty full, as you'll see here, we're going to source a vehicle and the warehouse is pretty full of cars. You can see there it's like 60%, but most of those are standard and mid range cars. So now when I go to source a vehicle, it's usually a top range. Every once in a while I get a mid range or standard range, but I get a top range most of the time. So I can basically get top range cars, turn around and sell it. And then when I'm waiting for the uh, 17 hours have to go by before you can sell another, then I'll just keep sourcing top range vehicles. And so I'll just stock up a bunch of uh, top range uh, vehicles and then I'll just sell them. And then you can just make a ton of money because this takes no time at all. It only takes a few minutes to go pick up the vehicle and then go you know basically get the money when you deliver it takes like four minutes or something or even less because of the cargo bob so it's really awesome so we're going to go ahead and pick up the vehicle uh this is going to be some the next tip trick would be um sourcing the vehicle and I forgot to say uh, the other tip and trick was avoid damage was the other tip was tip four. Yeah, so cargo bob was tip two, <laughs> selling the vehicle cargo was three uh, tips and tricks on that. And then fourth tip is avoid damage. And fifth tip now is to source the vehicle. So we're going to go pick one up. They're all different types of uh, missions to pick up these vehicles and when you source them. Most of them are pretty easy. They're just parked somewhere. You have to kill a couple of guys. Just make sure they don't shoot up the car or damage it. So try to put yourself between, not between them and the car because then they'll shoot at you and hit the car and then it will damage it. So try to avoid being around the car too much and you know make sure you kill them before they start shooting at you between you and the car so it doesn't damage it. So that's the best way to not get any damage that way. And if you have a cargo bomb, you can just pick up the car and then drop it off. It's no, no problem at all. That's the best way to source vehicle as a cargo bomb. But if you don't have one, you can always drive it there. Uh, you just have to be quick and make sure that you aren't getting shot as much or just taking too much damage. The most you usually get for damage if you're doing really well at it. It's like two thousand dollars and your commission's two hundred thousand right now so really it's not that big of a deal so you'll still make tons of money that way but the best way is the cargo bob and uh to avoid damage you know and, and uh source the vehicle as quick as possible uh since i have a cargo bob for this mission i didn't have to go pick up one because usually it's like on the other side of the map you have to pick up the cargo bob and then you gotta go to the other side of the map to go get this vehicle like I am right now. Here's a little tip on this mission on what to do because this one is more of a pain to me personally because you have to, you can't just go over there and pick it up because there's these guys that are shooting and if you don't pick it up very quick then it'll destroy the cargo bob, it'll blow up and then you'll actually not be able to complete the mission and you lose the cargo even though the car didn't get killed but as you can see i just landed and i just got killed that quick they have really good weapons these guys so yeah definitely have to land somewhere from a distance but that you can reach with your sniper and uh, just pull that out and we'll go ahead and snipe these guys off and then we'll go pick up the car so let's get some headshots going here pick this guy off pick that one off and get this other guy all right and there's two more over here I think so I'll get these other two here got him got him oh I guess we missed him get him there 
All right, so that should be all of them. There's like three of them on one side and then two on another. So there's like five you need to hit. So we'll just go ahead and jump in the cargo bob. Take some time to lift off here. And then we'll add some body armor just in case and some snacks because there's going to be some helicopters coming after us to get us. So we definitely need to uh, be avoiding them. I'll give you some tips on how to avoid these helicopters. And I've tried several times to, uh, you know, like just drop the vehicle somewhere on the land over here everything and uh, like on the shoreline and take out the helicopters but it just kills you and kills you and just takes a ton of time so it's just better just to pick up the car and just take off with it and just go as fast as you possibly can if you stay low and you just try to get the cargo bob to go as fast as you possibly can without hitting the car against the ground obviously because uh, you don't want to damage that or hit anything, but you want to fly around little uh, towers and buildings and stuff like that. That'll actually slow down the enemy helicopters uh, because they'll like run into them or those buildings will be there and you're flying so low that it'll slow them down. So as you can see, they're not really catching up to me because these towers are in the way. And it's actually slowing them down and keeping them away from me so they're not shooting at me or the car. So we'll just keep going by all these towers so we can avoid getting any damage to the car. So we can make sure that we only have the $160,000 commission instead of, you know, the damaged uh, amount of money that... You would normally get because normally when you would uh, source a vehicle and you drive it they're shooting at you they're causing all kinds of damage you'll end up getting like two thousand to five thousand damage and so you're losing that money and you're not getting that back because it's getting damaged so the best thing you want to do is get zero damage and this is the best way to get zero damage on your missions is definitely using the cargo bob making sure all the enemies are uh, dead uh, before you take off and if they do come after you get out of the car and get away from it so that way they're not shooting the car and damaging it and you uh, just take them out and then when it's clear go back into the car and then drive so if cargo bombs a lot faster but you can also do it while in the car and uh, when you're selling or uh, picking up the car is forcing it great way to avoid any damage is just jumping out of it catch you guys in the next video